Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you a few pieces that I've picked up over the past few weeks that I don't think I've shared in a haul yet. Um, this morning, my BFF Ray Dunn buddy texts me late last night. She's like, hey, let's meet up at Home Goods at 8 a.m. So we did, and it was like, you know, a scary little ride because there was a lot of fog this morning. Um, but I met up with her at Home Goods, and then we went to TJ Maxx after that. I found this guy at TJ Maxx. Um, it was $19.99. And it has the little flag. And an opening in the front. And it's just, it's open on the bottom too, so it's hollow, of course. Um, so we went into TJ Maxx. She found one, well I showed her one that was pink and it was for Valentine's Day. That one unfortunately had a little um, a little uh, piece missing like right out of, of the bottom of the flag. But I don't think it was like extremely noticeable um, face on because it was a very light pink color. Uh, so it wasn't too bad. She went ahead and picked it up and they did give her 10% off. I think she can easily disguise that um, so that no one will really know when it's being displayed. But I was excited to find this cute little piece. Again, $19.99. So prior to TJ Maxx, we did meet up, like I said, in Home Goods. And I did, I fell for one of these sets. And I know it is such a, um, it's such a, I don't want to say ripoff. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's overpriced. What the plate, the mug should go for $5.99. The plate, what, maybe $4.99. But, you know... Uh, to, to my knowledge, um, and there was, we met up with one Ray Dunn hunter, and she said that Santa's mug hasn't been released on its own. It's only been released in these package deals. So, I mean, with the value of the mug would be $5.99, the plate probably $4.99, but I paid $19.99 for the set because I really wanted the reindeer snacks. I think that's so adorable, and we'll just kind of put it with, I say our cocoa bar. It's more of my two-tier tray that's kind of just become a cluttered mess over there. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but that was $19.99 for the set. And then while we were at the Home Goods, they did have um, so many of these adorable little baking uh, tools. Um, and then these, these are perfect for like if you have a little uh, hors d'oeuvre tray uh, for Christmas. I know it's kind of like we're not hosting big family gatherings, um, at least not in Virginia you know, where our positivity rate is over 10% right now, and we're on a modified shutdown. Um, but, you know, for me and the girls, well, actually, you know, they'll be with their father, so <laughs> I guess I can, you know, make an hors d'oeuvre tray for myself and use my mini tongs. Uh, but they're cute. They say merry and bright, and they were only $4.99. And they're just very lightweight, and um, uh, the silicone... Uh, ends here and then they also had I thought this was adorable it's almost this would be cute if you had a daughter that had maybe a little kitchen set um, you could put this in their stocking for their little kitchen set and it's just the mini rolling pin um, whisk and a little spatula so that would be super sweet or even gift that and like maybe you know if you did the um, cookie mix the dry mix in like a, a mason jar and then you can kind of like uh, take each one of these um, and tie a ribbon and tie it to the mason jar or include it with the mason jar of cookie mix that would be cute and then speaking of cookies they had parchment paper sheets I know not necessary but adorable um, first off this set here was $7.99 and then the parchment paper was $4.99, pretty sure. Cute. Um, I think this would be cute too to use in, um, like not necessarily have to like use it to bake with, but let me just reach over here. Do you remember, I shared with you these, did I share with you these tins that we picked up? Um, and I already put some chocolate chip oatmeal raisin cookies that we made last night. So wouldn't that be cute to kind of use that parchment paper to kind of line these little tins and wrap up the cookies. So that would have been cute to have last night. 
but I did pick it up. Let me just put these back. I did pick it up. I do have um, obviously some more of those empty tins. So I think that'd be really sweet to put something together. If you can get it done, you know, before Christmas, since we only have, today's the 12th, we have 13 days left. And then of course I got the sugar duster, sugar duster, you know, it's a sifter, flour sifter. And that was $5.99, so cute. So that's everything that I got today, um, along with a couple Valentine's canisters, which I'll share later in another video. Um, but I know I did share the love with you. It came with peace and then, you know, a large red peace birdhouse and then the little red love birdhouse. I know I shared those with you and I did find some ribbon in the house and I just knotted it on the top. I didn't do any fancy little bow, but so I know I shared that with you. Um, but the ho ho ho, I think I picked that up two or three weeks ago. So I just grabbed that up because I didn't really have any Christmas birdhouses. So I grabbed that up and I just have that sitting here on our little island. Um, let me go show you a couple other pieces. We'll go over here. And don't mind my dishwasher running. So I don't think I shared with you Joy. Let me kneel down here and you're going to hear my knees crack when I get back up. I don't think I shared Joy with you. I know I shared the green tree that says Mary. Uh, so I found Joy at TJ Maxx. We're doing really good at our TJ Maxx up by the mall. Um, this little truck here was also at that TJ Maxx. And nice story. There was a Ray Dunn Hunter in there and I've seen her in there before. And she had it in her cart and I was like, oh, where'd you find that? And I went looking around picked up a few other things and then by the time I was checking out she actually caught me right before you know I was paying for my stuff and she's like do you want this and I'm like yes please and uh, I was so excited that she had shared that find with me I think that was let's see $9.99 so she shared that with me that was exciting I think it's adorable I've shared the clock with you guys already. Ho, ho, ho um, was one of the red canisters that I got. This was like um, one or two Sundays ago. When I thought about doing what I, well, what I did with it was put one of the trees, one of the hearth and hand trees down in there. And I kind of want to go back to, to uh, Target and get like some little lights to go on that. But that's what I've done with it now. Because I feel like I kind of ran out of space for the red canisters on my shelf. I don't think I shared this with you. Not sure. Um, the little chair I picked up a few weeks back. And that is actually a, a mini little canister. That would be completely adorable to fill with some candy and share. As you can see it already has a gift tag. And then I found Mary. I think last Sunday. And that's hollow. It's just kind of like an ornament. It is hollow. Um, there's one at our TJ Maxx, the one that has, it's like the canister, it has the lid, it's the white one, shaped just like this, has the lid, it's got two major cracks in the lid, so it's not even like you could just turn, turn the lid around, um, you would still notice it, and that's still sitting there, it has not been marked down yet, I don't understand what they're going to do with it, it's just like, mark it down, at best, the person could just like trash the lid and use it like to put like some type of um, uh, faux flowers in or some type of arrangement I think would be neat. All right, so let's circle back around to the shelf that I know I shared with you guys some of the things on here. Well, most of the things. Um, at the top, like I said, I did share that green Mary tree with you. Um, the Joy Mug, that's another TJ Maxx find. The white Christmas tree was a Marshalls find, and that actually had two little nicks in the top. Uh, so you can see, like, the white paint through it. Let me try and reach that down. Um, see right there? And so she took 10% off of that. 
So whenever you're in, whenever you're hunting, if you do come across something, even if it's not redone and it's damaged, go ahead and ask them to discount it. They'll usually take like 10% off. Um, so the only other new thing here, I think I had all of those before. Um, I know new things here. Maybe one of those red canisters is new, but I feel like I showed them all to you. I think the Ho 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 was the only red one that was new. Um, did grab peppermint up, so that's new. And the mug back there with the topper that says Gnome Sane, that uh, was a, um, I bought that off my BFF Ray Dunn buddy. I think I bought that one or maybe I traded. I know one was a trade, one was a buy. Um, but that's adorable. Oh, and then the tree, what I did with the tree is, I don't know if I shared with you guys that I had bought the Ray Dunn Garland. You know, the little felt garland that she had and it had the little gnomes and the little ornaments. Well, I ended up um, basically cutting them off of the yarn and just kind of scatter them in the tree like little ornaments. And I think it looks cute. And I don't know if I shared with you the little gnome. That was the TJ Maxx find also. He's supposed to light up, but we haven't been able to get him to light up. Okay, now I just want to share with you um, my little cocoa bar. Oh, but quickly, look at my purple poinsettia. That came from Lowe's. And I just heard some kids hollering outside, so. And my dishwasher's going. So this is kind of my cocoa bar situation. It's kind of just kind of a cluttered mess right now, I think. Um, the lighting is going to change. Not let me share this with you. I have the sign up there. I just want to drink hot cocoa and watch Christmas movies. This is where I put Santa's milk and cookies. And again, on that one, I just put a little artificial Christmas tree. I have my hot cocoa. Um, what do you even call that? You, the, um, what, do you, what do you call that? A pot, I guess? And I put, I found hot cocoa, the red mug, so I put the Santa hat on there. I had one from some other mug. So I put that on there. I thought that was cute. Got that little truck at Target. Deck the Halls was another mug that I just got off my BFF um, this week. Maybe we traded Easter for, for this one. And then uh, you can just see the reindeer snacks. I know I shared that with you guys. Um, I took the lid off and kind of just filled it with some um, white chocolate peppermint pretzels and then other things there for hot cocoa and put the fa la la in there back here we have our marshmallows and our cocoa we have some starbucks cocoa there's the other birdhouse and here's what i just kind of did um with the red mugs i did have the big mug rack from wayfair that made it almost uh, you could fit six on the bottom and four on the top, but that took up so much space. I really like this is a Ray Dunn one, and you can only fit like six mugs all together. And it is on, um, it does spin. So I just have that there, so I have the red mugs out. Again, we don't really use any of these. We don't use any. I actually do have some going in the dishwasher, though, so we'll have hot cocoa, I think, either today or tomorrow. It's going to be actually 63 today. Um, we do plan on going to see Christmas lights tomorrow, so maybe we'll make some to go. And I just put these in here because it's just clear glass, so kind of a little different vibe. These are the Hearth and Hand um, Milk and Sugar, and they were actually on clearance for like, I think, $1.49 each. So those are just sitting there with some candy as we speak. And yeah, so that is my cluttered hot cocoa bar situation
yeah oh and then in here I just took like some gumballs from home goods and just put them in a clear jar from Michael's and then another clear jar from Michael's has like cupcake sprinkles in it there speaking of cupcakes let me grab one more thing to show you So have you guys seen these in your stores? It is a cupcake holder, carrying case to take your cupcakes um, to your loved one's house or, you know, to school. When we get back into visiting and, and taking food into schools and, and into our family's homes. These are $12.99, and I'm not sure if it tells you how many cupcakes it holds. Um, Two-tier round cupcake carrier. And I bet you could simply um, you could probably take that tray out and maybe then use it as a cake uh, carrying case as well I would think so that was um, a final find for today my BFF bought that for me thank you so much Carmen so that's everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of haul and what we're doing as far as our cocoa bar. And, um, yeah, give me a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe and, and uh, hit the notification bell. Thanks, guys.